Hello my YouTube family, Josiah here. Welcome back to some more Dark Souls DLC content. So today I got a guide for you guys. It's going to show you how you can get the hex known as Dark Greatsword for yourself. Now, you may have heard me say Dark Greatsword and you got really, I don't know, put off. You you don't want a Dark Greatsword. Oh, that's a, that's a Greatsword with the Dark enchantment. No, 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 no. I, I forgive you for your confusion and not to, not to think that you sound like that. Anyway, I forgive you for your confusion, but uh, that is not at all what I'm going to show you. So think Soul Greatsword. You guys know that sorcery, right? Where you, you pull out a big uh, blade made of magic energy. It's like that, but it's a hex, and it's very, very cool. And I cannot wait to show you guys. So let's let's let me let me get to it first. So first off, we're gonna have to get a key. We can't get to where the item is located without a key. We're gonna go through the dragon dragon. What is this? I forgot what it's called exactly. We'll figure it out in a second. All right, we're gonna try to get past these guys. I would kill them. It, it might be quicker if I if it was easy for me to kill them, but I actually only have a plus four dagger, and this character's only like level 80, so she doesn't do a ton of damage. But we're in the Dragon Sanctum now. I'm gonna make our way through here. I did prep this ahead of time, by the way. So this area right here, you normally can't walk through this. I just shot the switch from the stairs where I, I walked in. All right, so yeah, it's it's a it's a really cool hex, and uh, I, I really hope that a lot of people are gonna be excited about it. It seems awesome and and probably viable for PVE and PVP. So first off, as a precursor, this area is incredibly difficult to surmount with these these phantom uh, swordsmen, whatever they are. They have a, they have a name, but uh, it's really hard to surmount with these guys on my back. So we're gonna I'm gonna show you guys. Excuse me. How you can deal with them more easily. No, 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 I didn't want to pick the souls up. Oh, that slowed me down. Okay, okay, okay. We're fine, we're fine. Ooh, okay. They can't climb ladders, fortunately. <laughs> those, um, those guys over there. Actually, you know what we should do? Oh, wait, I'll show you guys in a second something else. You can make this easier on yourself. We do very little damage. We killed her, though. Alright. So... First things first, like I said, I'm going to show you guys how you can deal with this area a little bit easier. So first off, we're going to shoot this switch over here. We could walk and just hit it, but we're, there's an enemy over there. One of the phantom swordsmen I have so much trouble with, and, and a lot of people probably have. But I, like I said, we're going to come over here. All right, let's try to be careful about this. There's three more in this room, but there are statues or just suits of armor that you can break. And then these guys stop being at the real, and you can start killing them. And actually, while I'm running around this room, sometimes... I find that they'll end up killing themselves. They'll fall off the edge. Which is what I'm hoping happens right now, because I can't deal with them otherwise. This, this one's using a crossbow now. Alright. Oh, I almost just fell off. That was scary. So yeah, he's, he switched to a crossbow, because now he's not at the reel anymore. One of them just killed themselves, though. I'm very happy about this. So yeah, we're just going to break all these armors. And again, this will make it so you can use... Every uh, every type of weapon against them. Well, maybe not every weapon is equal, but uh, obviously you can use uh, something as physical damage, which is the big the big boon here. And we also just acquired the Eternal Sanctum Key, which is going to be what we we need. So these guys are called Sanctum Knights. Okay, okay. And forgive me, I was actually a bit misguided. If you heard me mention this, there's still okay. There's a few left. I heard me mention when I said hit that switch. You don't actually need to hit that switch. I was thinking that's where the key was actually, but actually the key is just in here. So we actually killed two birds with one stone. So yeah, now all these guys are at the real. And look, we can backstab them now. Oh, isn't that good? Because I, I my character has only gotten this far in the game because of crit damage, pretty much. And for bosses and harder stuff, she's been able to summon phantoms. You can actually parry them too. Oh, doesn't that feel good? Oh, I hate these guys. Okay, so yeah, we got the key. We let all of these, they'll, they'll stay, uh, I, w I don't want to say human, but they'll stay, you know, able to be hit by physical weapons. And yeah, we did all that, and now our lives have been made much easier. And really quickly, we're going to make our way back. Oh, actually, wait, can we, can we get back? Oh, this is going to be okay. This is going to be a problem. This is going to be a little bit of a problem. All right. This is the wrong way, actually. So we opened up that uh, other shortcut. This guy's... We can kill him. We probably should. And uh, this guy is going to take a little longer. Not just because I'm I'm killing these dudes, but just because it's a, a longer thing to try to make your way to. Oh, I fell. This is not good. Alright, what if, what if we do this? Come in here. Oh, okay. We just kind of trapped ourselves. Hoping we can back okay, we can backstab him. We have our red tear ring active, so that's gonna help me. And I'm sorry that uh, this guide wasn't just hey, this is how you get here. It 
it's a bit tricky, but hopefully it'll it'll be helpful for many of you as well. All right, we got him. Please don't kill me, other guy. All right, let's see if we have anything to heal with. I'm just going to use this just for the sake of uh, keeping things quick. All right, so we, we have the key now. I guess we might as well open this chest, huh? I thought that, ch that the key was in this chest. All right, he's, he's pulled out his swords. Now he's back to his crossbows. Dragonstone, okay. Is that is the Dragonstone a key? It is a key. It actually is, is a type of key. Okay. Anyway, so let's move. We might actually need the Dragonstone. I'm not 100%, and forgive me for the informalities of this guide. But we have the Dragonstone, so I guess you should grab that. <laughs> Alright. Probably a good idea, especially since you've made the knights easier to kill if you're following along. And we're going to make our way back up here. Now, this is going to be the area that's going to give me a bit of a problem. I'm going to have to kill a lot of these guys. Alright, maybe we can just get a parry. That was a bit poorly timed. I don't want to get po Well, I do have poison moss, actually. Getting poison wouldn't be the worst thing ever. And we're going to get poisoned anyway. Let's just use one of them now. There we go. I got the parry. Alright. So yeah, if I can do this with a plus four dagger, you guys can probably do this too. Alright, what I want to do, if they can end up not seeing me. We shot this. We're going to move up here. This is the way that I get back out. I don't think there's another... There's probably... There may be other ways that you can... Okay, this isn't going to work. We're going to have to take care of these enemies. At least the ranged ones. Okay. This is... <laughs> this is scary. I haven't died yet, though, so that's the, that's the good part, right? This shouldn't quite kill them, but it'll get close. Oh, man. Poisoned. I should did the, uh, the close range attack. Our right, Elizabeth Mushroom wore out. Oh, man. Okay. Well, we got the key. I'm going to make my way back there. I'll cut just because there is a way to get back out, and it's pretty much you rotate that circle so that it's on the... If you're standing inside of it, so the circle is on the left side, you know, it goes down, right, left, up, or down, right, <laughs> up, left, and you jump from the left side, or, yeah, from when it's aligned left, you jump from there back up. But, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make my way down to where I need to be, and I'll cut to when I'm there. Alright guys, so I'm just now making my way back into the Dragon Sanctum. We're past those two uh, Lance Knights at the bridge. We're gonna go right over here. Open this door up with the Eternal Sanctum key we got from the area with the Knights. And come in here. You can open these chests. There's some, there's some cool stuff in this one. The rest have uh, those roots that give you really slow HP regen, like just the... Just like the regen ring regen, it's not anything special. But yeah, there's a, there's a lightning ring in one of those that increases lightning damage. Alright, and then we're going to make our way up these ladders. And again, I'm sorry that this, this guide is kind of like long and a bit maybe weird, but I wanted to be comprehensive and I wanted to show people how to, how to do this if they didn't have any of the items. So like from the very beginning is what I wanted to show you how to do it. The way I wanted to show you how you could do it. Alright, there's some bugs behind us. I'm not too worried about them. Also, this unlocks a, a few other... Um, this isn't it, by the way. This unlocks a few other shortcuts that you can use in the future. You'll see one of them in a moment. This is the Sanctum Shield, if you guys want that. Alright, so we're going to cross this bridge. Oh, wait. We actually have to go down a bit. My bad. We'll just, uh, can we survive this fall? Probably not. <laughs> anyway, at least it'll be com comprehensive. At least that's the excuse I'm using. <laughs> so we'll cross this bridge right here. Ah, now you're starting to see the stuff that you probably didn't think you could travel on if you didn't know already. So we got uh, Dark Spirit, Rock Shield Boulder. He's going to invade you. He's pretty easy to kill. He does use the um, Lloyd's Talismans, but he didn't actually hit me with that. Man, he has a lot of health and those bugs are following me. Okay, here's a bonfire. We can, we can rest here once we take care of this guy. How did he do a jumping attack right into another attack on me? I'm a bit confused about this. All right. Let's actually not deal with him. So, if you guys haven't noticed, bam, this is the elevator that you saw at the very start of the Dragon Sanctum. It's right outside of it. And now we have the key to open all this stuff up and get over here. You may actually need the Dragon Talon. I haven't actually... I'll read the Dragon Talon. This guy is annoying. Can you go away, like, forever? Just die. All right, we're going we're gonna to take this down. I'll see you later, dude. You just stay here. 
Now walk this way. When the elevator is going down, walk this way. He's probably gonna fall down here, isn't he? Walk that way. Okay, he just left. That's fine with me. This isn't it. This isn't it yet. We're gonna get it. That's a torch. There's five torches, actually. And then this way. I actually, by the way, again, I'm not trying to make this long on purpose. The reason I went and grabbed the torch is because I thought you might need to fall down that way. I don't remember exactly, but we're here. Here it is. Check this out. Dark Greatsword. When I first picked it up, I didn't look at the little icon, and I was looking in my inventory for, like, a sword. But it's not a sword at all, ladies and gentlemen. Hex adapted from an ancient sorcery. Brandish dark like a sword. By its nature, dark is normally tranquil, but this hex releases a focused blade of dark and an uncharacteristic flash of brilliance. Catalyst staff. The requirement is 55 int. I hope you have some simpleton spices and 29 faith. Pretty cool. Hopefully you guys will have some fun with this. And if you do, let me know and leave a like if it uh, helps you out. If you enjoy this this hex when you get to try it out, and leave me your feedback on what other guides you might want or anything like that. And I'll, I'll hope to see you guys in the future. Anyway, if you if this guide has helped you, maybe consider subscribing for more guides in the future as well as my let's plays and walkthroughs. You've probably seen the links for. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching. Love you guys. God bless. Thank you.